So as we proceed then with our wrap-up of the nebular hypothesis, um, the title of the slide is, it's still really rough out there. And what I mean by that is this. When the solar system was starting to resemble what we see today, in other words, all of the extra rocks sort of were collided or disappeared or something like that, and we started to sort of see this happen here um, with some planets, maybe that was Ver Mercury, Venus, and Earth, and so on. When all that stability started to sort of look a little more familiar, it was still pretty rough out there in something called the period of heavy bombardment. In other words, there was still a lot of junk flying around. And again, that would be 4.5 billion years ago that had some, was still forming the solar system that we see today. So period of heavy bombardment, still really rough out there. Let me show you what I mean. So this is sort of what it might have looked like. So you might have seen something like this could have been the Earth right here, well formed, it's round, but all this stuff flying around, these big chunks, there'd still be a lot of collisions. There's no way that life could take hold or that it was just a horrible place to be and the collisions would have destroyed any atmosphere that was collecting. Or just This was not a habitable solar system at all, and this is what we mean by the heavy environment. This is all the junk that was just flying around, and of course when these it collides with a planet, all of its kinetic energy all gets transferred into heat, which would just vaporize everything around it in the ground and cause big craters and that sort of thing. So you see all the glowing energy from these collisions in there. Again, conservation of energy holds. So this is what we mean by the period of heavy bombardment. And we think then that the uh, this is what sort of gave the planet, not the spin, but the planet, gave the planet their tilts. So every one of these planets here that probably has some tilt to it like this was likely hit by something hard. And so you can tell here that Venus here was probably like hit big time, so hard that it actually knocked the planet upside down, which is why planet ha Venus has the spin that, that it has. The Earth was probably hit pretty hard. Mars was probably pretty, hit pretty hard to give it these 23, 25 degree tilts. Mercury maybe escaped any bad uh, hit like that. Maybe it has something to do with being so close to the sun or something. I don't know. Jupiter, same way, but obviously Saturn got hit. Uranus must have got hit very hard too, so sort of a big hit there because it's over on its side. And so these are sort of the things that this heavy bombardment could have still done to the forming solar system, give the planets the tilts like that. Pluto is almost upside down as well. Neptune's at a pretty good angle like that. So the tilt here were largely probably happened by like, uh, you know, big collisions. So see, the nebular hypothesis does sort of give us a mechanism for describing why the planets have tilt. So again, the tilt of the Earth, probably when the Earth first formed, it was perfectly lined up with the rest of the spin. Then it got hit by something really badly, and it is now tilted. This is likely what we think caused our moon. We think what hit our planet was probably pretty large. And if it gave our planet its tilt or not, I don't know. But this was the period of heavy bombardment. It was a bad place to be. A lot of stuff flying around. And you can see evidence of that. This is the back of the moon right here. All of these craters here were probably from 4.5 billion years ago in the time of heavy bombardment. There just aren't a lot of collisions going on anymore, although there still are. There's still some stuff flying around out there that does hit us from time to time. But this is sort of what the back of the moon looked like. This is definitely just evidence of that period of heavy bombardment that um, went along four and a half billion years ago. And this is my key emphasis thing. Everything that we're talking about was a lot of activity, but just a very, very, very long time ago. That includes the planet formation, the period of heavy bombardment, the time where the moon likely had the volcanoes and formed the Maria and all that sort of thing would have all been a long time ago. So this is a key thing here or in terms of the age of the solar system and when all this would have been going on. 4.5 billion years, not thousand, lot, not million, anything like that, 4.5 billion. So you see, we've been pretty stable for a pretty long time. And so what about these collisions and hitting the Earth? Let's pick that up in the next video.